Ruben, what are your aspirations for this meeting, especially in your capacity as co-chair? For me, it's a <coughs> quite unique uh, new experience to become a co-chair of uh, event organizing my World Economic Forum, and I hope I can uh, contribute from my side as a sort of discussions and being one of the co-chair who will open some of the interesting topics and uh, also connect people. This is, I think, one of the major always goal of the World Economic Forum events all over the world. People often forget to associate Russia with East Asia. How does Russia figure into the region's economic equation? Is it true Russia is so big that people sometimes forget that Russia is not only part of Europe but also part of the East Asia and uh, I think it's becoming more more obvious that people from Russia and people from East Asia look at Russia like one of the key uh, markets for the not only commodity but also potential development and it's include not only China but South Korea, Japan and uh, other countries where we have more and more and Vietnam for example where we have more and more business and trade uh, relationship which I hope will be developed continue uh, in the next uh, couple of years. How would you describe the current investment banking landscape in East Asia? I think we are all facing the <coughs> result of the global financial crisis which has been hurting financial industry heavily when the investment banking industry one of the first. But we also see the East Asia have a different specifics which was uh, quite unusual compared to the previous uh, period in Africa was the same coming from the global uh, big countries like US or Western Europe. Now we see the picture of the China continue growing, we see the Indies have a potential very good grow and, uh, and going very well and uh, other countries also um, continue becoming, continue with development to become uh, developed countries. And during this whole period, the investment bank services becoming become continue a very important element of success of these countries. And the, the shift is becoming with the more and more local players becoming important, like in Russia, like Trocadilic, or like um, other big players in China, Chinese players or uh, Indian players in India. I think it's a very important shift in the in general in the world of the uh, regional local champions becoming more important for development of the investment banking industry, investment banking landscape in general. Troika Dialogue has distinguished itself with its distinct corporate values. Do you expect major changes to the corporate values as a result of the global economic crisis? No, I think it's a crisis always helping the companies as a values, corporate values, because in the crisis time it's becoming very crucial to keep people confidence and trust about what they're doing, why you're doing, how you're doing. I think the, one of the elements of the success of the companies to survive in a crisis is how strong corporate values you have in your companies. And I think the crisis is showing importance of its values for all of us and for the company, but also for the society. We don't plan to change any of our values. We believe it's one of the core stones of our success was long term and specifically in this crisis time. What would you urge leaders to address? when South Korea assumes the G20 chairmanship in 2010? I think the main issue for all of us is to bring back the confidence about the capitalism, about the system, general, about the rules of regulation, but not only rules of regulation for control, but also rule of regulations so allowing people to invest, getting return, being sure that their money will be safe. I think it's a transparency a confidence about the system, confidence about the people, it needs to be rebuilt, which is requires for us a lot of efforts. Thank you.